Salina, Kansas, we're actually, well, I don't want to say where we're at because of the legal logistics and all that. But I was sitting here talking to my, my brother in Christ here, and he was telling me that he just came from the doctor and he can't hear out of his left ear. Right? I go, right ear. You're right, right ear. ear. I'm sorry. Yes. Out of his right ear. And uh, the Word of God states that um, the kingdom is nigh. So if the kingdom is nigh, then we got to have, uh, the kingdom has to produce what it produces, and it produces life. Right? And, and, and you hear, you really can't hear, you know. And How are you? Good, nice. Good. All right. And so what we're going to do right now is we command this ear to open, and that's exactly what it's going to do. Okay. It's got no say. It's got no say in the matter. Okay. Right? Isn't that crazy? But that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, praise God. Praise so, God. So, so here's what I'm going to do. And, and because I teach on Skype and on Facebook, that's the reason that I get this out. Um, this is a teaching. So whenever you run into somebody like John mm -hmm. that can't hear out of the ear, you want to just come up to him and say, hey, man, can I pray for you? Did you talk to him first? You go, hey, my name's Pete. How you doing? And then you ask him, hey, is there anything that you need prayer for physically or whatnot? And that's what I did with him. I wasn't too rude. No, I wasn't no, too up for him. She got to be really friendly, right? Yeah. Okay, because that's what Jesus did. So I'm going to go ahead and pray for him. And then don't lie. Okay. Okay. Don't lie about anything. I mean, if I say, hey, do you feel that? And you don't feel anything? Don't say, yeah, I feel it. Okay. Right. Be totally honest. Right. Okay. Because lying is a sin. <laughs> okay. So, All right. Okay. So I'm going to take your right hand because what Jesus did. Right. And you don't got to pray. See, a lot of problems that a lot of believers have is when you pray so into people, they start pouring out, and everything pours in, pours out. Right. I want to pour into you. Put yourself right. in neutral. And I'll do the rest. Go for it. Okay. Go for it. Father, in the name of Jesus, right here, command you all to open. You feel that, John? I feel something. Wow. Praise God. Woo! Praise God. As a child of God, I'm telling you, whoever's out there watching this, believe. Just believe. That's all I have to say. Believe. It'll be okay. Just believe. Thank you, my brother. I want to talk to you. Where's your Thank hearing you. at? I want to know. I don't feel what I felt before. Can you hear them? Yeah. Can you hear the same yeah, as this? This ear's always been stuffed. It's not stuffed now. Okay. So it's always felt full. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been full when they, they went to they put a thing in there the other day and blow some air in there and open it up. It feels like that. Like it's opened up. So I mean, can you hear one hundred percent? I can hear it a whole lot better than I could before. So is it a hundred though? Because I don't want you to leave. Well, I don't know what a hundred would be because okay. I've never had a hundred. Okay, I'm going to pray one more time. I'm going to pray for a hundred. And see, I want you guys to know something. That God is faithful and does not lie. Okay? I believe it. Man. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> hold up, brother. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to put my hand over here like this. Right? Okay. See, and I want, I, want you to, I want you to learn from me. Okay? I don't want to just, you know, open your ear in the name of Jesus. I want you to do what I'm doing. 
okay? Because as 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 I fully give. Where are you guys from? Um, um, right now, I'm from Great Bend. That's where I'm at. I'm gonna give you my number because I teach this. Okay. That's what I teach. Okay. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus. Right now, open this ear. I command your ear to open. I command your ear to open. What are you feeling? What are you feeling in your ear? I'm totally honest. Can you tell the camera what you're feeling in your ear? My ear feels, at this point, from where I was when I walked up here, 100% different, better. I don't have, I just went to a specialist. You know, I'm a veteran. I just come from VA hospital Wednesday. My ear has been felt full. For how long? 28 years. 28 years? It doesn't feel full right now. I can hear. And I haven't hear I cannot I've not been able to hear like that for twenty-eight years on this side. When I talk to people, as you see, I'm, I'm just, it's a habit. When I talk to people, I turn my head. Yeah. It's a habit I've gotten into because I couldn't hear out of this side, but I always turn us off the hill. And you're a believer. Oh yeah. So you're around believers all day long. Oh yeah. So so answer me this. Why haven't believers done that? They're believers. Because they're not, they, they don't they don't have the knowledge. That's yeah. the key. That's my people is. perish yeah. because of their na exercise. lack of knowledge. They don't have the knowledge. And that's why, that's we, why we put this on Facebook and Skype. Because we give you the knowledge so you can go out and crush this thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I love you. All right, thanks, man. Yo, uh, oh, you know, I come here at the right time. I come here at the right time. Okay. Now, we were just talking. What was your name again? John, hey, can I put this on, on YouTube? Sure. Okay. Hey, I was just telling John, I said, isn't it weird how we can just say something and then, like, doctors can't do it, you know, medication can't do it, and you're sitting here and you're thinking, I mean, what can I do to get this ear to open? And then a man of God just comes up to him, right, and just says, look, we're going to crush this thing in Jesus' name, and it's going to leave, and then it leaves. And it's all about your faith and your belief. It's all about your belief. If you believe, but if you believe anything's possible, anything's possible if you believe. If you, if you, if you, if you got it in here, you got it up here, you got it there. So ex ex let me explain something to you. This is what I want to tell people that, that are watching. God did not come up to me and say, hey, there's a guy named John that's going to be at so-and-so place with a messed up ear, and I'm going to push you. The Holy Spirit did not push me to go to him, okay? A lot of people say, well, I'm waiting on the leading. I'm waiting. If I'd have waited on the leading, he would have went in and left, and he, his ear wouldn't have opened. Yep. I was coming in here to go to this ATM and go pay some bills. That's all I was coming here for when I ran into these young men here. Now, were you praying, hey, Lord, send somebody to me to the ATM to no. open my ear? No. No? So you no. came to get money, right? I came to get some money. Kind of like the guy, bills. right, that Peter and Silas, you know, Silas went up to. He was asking for money. He's getting money. I don't have money. But what I have, I give freely. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go.